I just witnessed a, uh, a feeding frenzy. here to the Conomingo Dam. This is my eighth year straight. It is raining pretty good right now. And normally when you get here, it's a line you have to get here for everybody else because there's no parking. I'm like literally the only person here. Like I've never, I've never actually seen that before. I've never been here around, I've been the only person here. Which is kind of cool, but it's raining, so I can understand why People don't want to sit in the rain, but maybe I'll get some cool rain shots. Um, this is the, oh, I just saw Nico go down right now. Oh, they're, yep, one, one just picking up a fish, so they're, they're fishing out here. Um, oh God, it's close too. I gotta get my stuff ready, but here I am with the kind of window, Dan, the person here, let's go. I just witnessed a, uh, a feeding frenzy. Um, there was about probably 15, 20, maybe even 30 eagles all out by the by the dam, by the river. They'd swoop down, grab a little fish, eat it midair. Sometimes they grab three or four fish at the same time. And they were just, I, I couldn't figure out which eagle to follow. So I got a couple of wide shots, got a couple of tight shots, but they were just picking these little fish out of the, out of the river constantly. Right now I'm just seeing them all pick up fish off the river. The, the catch of fish right here, right in front of me. Can you hear them? Those are the eagles. Right behind me, right up in these trees. And there's a bunch flying out there right now. And they're just going down and they're just catching these tiny little fish. There's a bunch of eagles over on the rocks. I just saw a little scuffle over there. Um, but literally the only person here, which is awesome, so I can actually move around and get some different angles. So overall today was a really good day. Um, got some really nice close-up shots of that. Got some nice photos, got some nice videos. It's actually pretty warm, but I'll be back here for the next two days. 
supposed to be sunny and uh, probably bigger crowds in the next few days, but uh, hopefully I can get some more good shots. All right, guys, so here we are. It's day two. It's um, 5.25 in the morning. Um, woke up about 4.30 to get here early. Um, I have the gates open around 5 a.m. Um, luckily today it's a weekday and it's not too busy, but um, sometimes there's a line at the gate to get here, uh, especially on weekend. So if you're coming here on a weekend, you might have to wake up early, but you know, that's all part of the experience. It's all part of being a wildlife photographer. But I'm feeling good today. The report says it's going to be sunny. So the turbine is going right now, which could be good, turning up some fish. I mean, that's why the eagles come here. The, basically what the, the dam does, it turns up fish. Um, like yesterday, it would turn up these little fish. I saw a couple of them floating down the river and the eagles are picking up and eating them in the air. So hopefully it's turning up some bigger fish today. Maybe we can get some fights, um, get some more fish pickups. Hopefully the action's close. You never know, it's wildlife, but um, at the Conway Dam, it's one of my favorite places to film bald eagles, and can't wait to start the day. I've been coming to the Conway Dam since 2015, and I'll still remember that first time when you're, you're driving over the bridge, and especially when that sun's coming up and you can see the eagles flying right over the bridge as you're driving, you're eye level with the eagles. And you can hear them chirping and you just know you just know you're gonna get some good shots because there's not too many other places like this on the east coast where you can see this many eagles that are fishing right in front of you fighting eating i mean it's just a great opportunity for photographers and video So it's about midday. Um, actually been pretty quiet today. I haven't seen a ton of action now like yesterday. There was a small spurt of uh, the eagles doing a similar thing where they're catching the small fish out past the rocks, but it's pretty far away. And then there's been about a handful of um, catching decent sized fish. And I saw maybe one fight, so not many fights. And I counted 52 eagles on the rocks and the trees on the other side. Um, but there's definitely not that many around now. I'm um, starting to lose sun. It's been a kind of a cold, windy day, but I'll call it a success. I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. All right, it's day three, third day at the Conowingo Dam. And man, what a difference a couple of days can make. Uh, when I first got here on Wednesday, I got here about 10 o'clock. Uh, it was a rainy day. I was literally the only person here. Um, yesterday, I got here about five in the morning probably four or five cars and then it filled up pretty good throughout the day today i got here at about 5 30. all the good spots were already taken the parking lot is probably a quarter it's almost a half full already and so when you get here there's basically there's a few spots that are along the fence line that are kind of good spots especially when the water is high and the water is high right now and those are all good so the only spots that were left were behind the trees so what i'm doing is i'm going below the fisherman's pier where I was late yesterday afternoon, and hopefully I can get some good shots there. I do like that spot a lot, but kind of shooting in the sun, but it's a little colder today, 27 degrees, but um, I have a good feeling. The last day here is supposed to be sunny, and uh, should be a good one. Uh, 
Um, it was kind of interesting. It was like there was probably a thousand or so, I mean thousands of seagulls out there catching these little fish. And you almost couldn't even see the other side. You couldn't even see the eagles inside the, the, all the seagulls out there flying. And then all of a sudden it was like they just shut off the seagulls left and then about 30 or 40 eagles went down and they were grabbing little fish after fish after fish. Put it in their mouth, going down and grab another one. They were in different parts of the river. They were all over just grabbing fish left and right and it was really cool to see. You just heard shutters. You heard shutters going for like, I don't know, it's about a half hour, 45 minutes of this frenzy and no one said a word. So it was a really, really cool experience. So that wrapped it up for the day. Um, they get some more footage in the afternoon. Got to see a peregrine falcon. I saw two of them. Um, I don't think I got that a shot, but I did get a shot of them dive bombing an eagle. Eagle did a barrel roll, which is really cool. And the falcon was just trying to chase him away from the, the part of the, the power, power plant over here. But um, overall, the afternoon, they kept catching those small fish, a couple big ones here and there. Um, just a great time. It's kind of we go damn. I highly recommend it. Anyone looking to come, give it a shot i mean there's no guarantees there's no guarantees in wildlife i think it's for any eagle lover it's something you really should give a shot and i think you'd really enjoy it so i appreciate it guys and i'll talk to you guys later